And there are also dangers we should consider when trying to cool off from the high temperatures. Every summer we're given the task of reporting on rip current deaths. About 11 people have died along the Gulf Coast, according to the National Weather Service lately. And our local weather expert, Peyton Malone, is here to explain what a rip current is and how to protect ourselves. Yeah. Leslie, these are some of the most deadly things on the northern Gulf Coast. We're talking beating out the amount of deaths we see from hurricanes, floods, wow. uh, anything like that. And oftentimes they can sweep away the most experienced swimmer. Let's take a look at what a rip current actually is. It's a current of water that pulls you out. It does not pull down. That's often a misconception here. But what happens a lot of time, Leslie, is the water is stronger where people's legs are. So it sweeps them off their feet. So they think it's pulling them down. But in reality, what it's doing is it's pulling them out to sea. Oh, and so that's where people get in problems and then they try to swim back to shore, but they're swimming against the current. So they mm -hmm. tire out and then that's when you get into your big problems. So basically try to swim parallel or even just try to stay afloat yes, and let just, it take you where it's going to take you and then swim. Exactly. You don't want to swim against it. That's where you're going to tire out. And even the most experienced swimmer, you see the green there being pulled out. So if you let it take you out and then you swim parallel or swim to the side there, you will swim out of the rip current and then you can come back in with the waves there. So the important part is don't swim against it. Either let it float or refloat, let it take you out and then swim back in or just try to swim parallel in the beginning and try to get out of that current itself. Why is it so active right now? Why are we seeing this many deaths right now? Well, we see them every single year and um, it just depends on what the winds are doing. If you do have the waves, things like that. And that happens a lot this time of year. We get our thunderstorms. Those produce winds in the Gulf. You will sometimes get low pressure in the Gulf. It, it varies day to day there, but it's a good idea, Leslie, if you're going to the beach, just assume there's rip currents and to be extra careful, even if you're that experienced. Yeah, and pay swimmer. attention to those flags on the beach, because yeah. especially if it's red, you need to pay a lot of attention because it's not easy to spot one. It's, it actually yeah. just kind of looks calm. It does, and if we can take that graphic full once again, you can see the waves on each side of this is, that's not the rip current, it's that calm, place in between and oftentimes you know people may be like well I don't want to get waves crashing on me so I'm going to go hang out where it's a bit calmer and then they end up getting trapped in that rip current there so uh, you just got to look for these things make sure you're always swimming where lifeguards are nearby Leslie mm -hmm. and of course if you cannot get out of that rip current just be screaming yelling and the lifeguards can come out there and get you and even if your kids are mad at you like mine make them wear a life jacket you got to always wear the life jacket and always err on the side of caution here of course with these things being so dangerous all right Peyton thank you let's